Hi, it's Kerry. Okay, let's get into it. Today we're talking about the article generator inside the new version of Firestore. So this is creating content with AI and it's really cool. I can't wait to show you. But just a pointer that this is a preview version of Firestore. We are still working on this at this moment. It's a work in progress. So things may change, things will improve. But for the most part, this feature I want to show you so you know what's going on and you can see where we're going and what direction we're going with with Fresh Store. So this is my example store. This is a PlayStation store and all the products in here are, yeah, PlayStation products. In case you don't know what Fresh Store is, it's an affiliate store builder. So all these products actually are pulled from uh, merchants like Amazon or eBay or Walmart and you make a commission when it sells. So you build a store you stock it full of products from these merchants and you just make a commission. You don't deal with stock. You don't deal with, you know, all the hassles of returns and customers and that kind of thing. So anyway, there's other videos on that. What I'm showing you today is all about the articles that we're creating. So these articles here have been created with AI. And if you're familiar with the current boom in chat GPT, which OpenAI have released and, and people are going crazy about, you'll know a little bit about this. So it's now possible to generate content in this way. It has been for a while, but now it's getting more public and more accessible. And these kind of articles are very factual, very thought, very um, correct, very well-written. You can't find any problem with the grammar. And yeah, it's an excellent way of getting content into your affiliate store. So that's what we've been doing. That's what we've built into Fresh Store. And I'm gonna show you how that works now. So I'm going into the dashboard of this store. I'm already logged in. That's why I have this blue bar at the top. And we have a lot of options in here. We're gonna go down to the article generator here. And from here, we literally, all we need to do is give the AI a title for this article. So I've got some examples here that I put in. You can say essential books for gardeners, whatever niche you're in, essential books for PlayStation, essential books for kite surfing, whatever it might be, you can do it here. There's one example with PlayStation, the best games. Yeah, I'll give you more tips as I do a full training video on this, um, but I'm just gonna keep it short now. And I'm gonna go for, what can I talk about with PlayStation? Let me have a look at my hints. Um, so I'm gonna say uh, the PlayStation 5 controller, because that's new in PlayStation 5. And yeah, we can write an article about that. We can describe the features. So I'm gonna say, um, about just about the PlayStation 5 controller. That's all you need to give it. And it will go away and it will figure out an article based on that purely. So once that's kicked off, we're gonna get into the list of articles and it's probably gonna take, yeah, maybe two minutes, maybe three minutes to write this article. And yeah, it's just preparing it now. We're gonna go over to the article section and you can see we'll get it in our list as generating for the time being until uh, yeah, until it's done. But let's dig into the other articles while we're waiting. So take a look at this one. One thing about these articles as well is that it's generating not only the content, but it's generating the meta description, the meta title, the actual title itself, a shorter title, which is very useful. If I just view into the store or view this article, I'll show you where these things are used. Um, so we have the main title of the article, we have a subtitle here, which corresponds to this one. But just as important is the short title, because that is used around your store. It makes these links a lot neater instead of this big long one. Uh, so it creates that for you as well completely. The content obviously is created here. The SEO and meta is also created. So we generate the slug, which is this part of the article, of the URL. And we generate a meta title, which comes up here and is important for SEO and we generate the meta description, which is also important for SEO. And yeah, we also generate meta keywords, not so important, but we do put them in there anyway. So let's take a look how we're getting on with this article. I'm gonna pause this video while that's finished and then I'm gonna show you the end result. Okay. Okay, so it actually only took a few seconds after I paused the video, but here's the article and here's what it's created. So we have a title which, yeah, it just, if you remember what we put in originally, we just said, the play, the new PlayStation 5 controller, and it's come up with this idea of how it's revolutionizing the gaming experience, which is brilliant. And subtitle, just about the features and 
the link title is shorter as we want it. So if we go into the content, now we have it broken down into sections. So this is how we build it with the AI. We, yeah, get it to figure out sections and then break them down. So I know just at a glance from from playing PlayStation myself that this is correct. And, and yeah, these are real things about the controller, the connectivity, microphone, the share button, the battery life, I assume is correct. And yeah, talking about price tag. And yeah, and this is one thing we do have to watch out for. So sometimes um, the information maybe is a little bit out of date because the AI does have data up to a certain point. So in this case, it's not terrible, but it's a little bit clumsy that it said that the it's going to release in November 2020 because obviously we're now in 23. So it doesn't need to say that. Um, it's talking as if it's in the future. So as with everything, I would recommend going through the article. Um, but for the most part, the content is is fantastic. You don't really need to go through the content. But like with anything, the more you go through it and the more you just fine tune it, the better result you're going to get. So yeah, fantastic. Along with the content, it also creates the SEO and meta, like I was saying before. We have the slug here. We have the meta title, description, everything all good, all ready to go. If we click view into the store and get rid of these other two that I was looking at, then yeah, you can see how it looks in the store. All ready to go, created within a couple of minutes. And that's what we're looking for with Fresh Store, with the content generation, with the AI. Our goal is to use it to just make things faster, easier, automate as much as possible and yeah just make your job easier so hope you enjoy that feature this is just a quick look at it like i said before when fresh store does go live it's going to be improved we're going to be looking at different ways of using this but this is a good view of of how it is now and, and a good overview of how it's going to be if you're interested in getting access to fresh store early make sure you click the link below if you're watching this on youtube or wherever you're watching it there will be a link where you can just enter your email to register your interest. Make sure you do that. We're limiting it to a certain number of people at a time to make sure that we, we roll out smoothly and we get good feedback. So yeah, make sure you register your interest. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.